this is the extra things that uh, I will cover on, on this webinar. Why? Because mobile apps nowadays they behave uh, in the same way like what we have in web applications. So how mobile applications or mobile devices communicate with the server is true. The same thing, the same framework using request and response with what we, the, the framework that I told you guys just now on um, the API request, RESTful API. And then they just request back to the server and then the server just return back the, return back the content that the devices respond, uh, request. And this is the mobile app stack that we have for now. I would go for the first one, the native app. So in order for you to build a mobile applications, you need, uh, as a native developer, you need to learn Java for Android or Swift and Objective-C for iOS applications to build a native app. And then the next one is what we call hybrid applications. Hybrid applications, you just need to learn JavaScript to build both Android and iOS applications up. And the framework that uh, we have outside is one of them is Ionic, uh, React Natives from Facebook, Flutter from Google. So it really depends on which framework that you want to use and then you can build both iOS and Android applications. And then the last one will be the web app. So it's just uh, mobile applications that perform like a browser. If you happens to uh, play around with the first versions for 11 straight mobile applications, that is the web, uh, web app applications. I'm not sure about the latest one because uh, I haven't been using 11 straight for quite a long time. And then go back to hybrid app. Uh, just one example for you, Facebook is using React Native to build their mobile application. So they're built using JavaScript for their Facebook apps in your, in your smartphone. So your Facebook applications inside your phone, it's built by React Native and then they are running on JavaScript. So you can, by using React Native, you're able to uh, generate both install installer file for your iOS and Android. So that's a plus for you, for you to learn uh, if you know on JavaScript itself, because you just need to go and study the documentations, then you're able to build your own mobile applications. Out.